guys welcome to the channel so last week I kind of um, gave you guys a hint that I will be painting doing some paintings for my um, movie room um, if you want to call it theater room I'm always stuck in between the two right so today I am doing this little piece painting this little piece that I drew um, one of the what do you call it girls Powerpuff Girls, um, so I am going to jazz her up, make her a little apple pop in a way. <laughs> um. But yeah, so I already drew this out. It took me maybe, let's say, 10 to 15 minutes to just sketch it out. It's not perfectly, it's not neat, um, because most of it is going to be painted over. Um, so I use regular pencil and also my drawing pencil for it. For today's painting, I need water, I need white paint, brown paint, black, pink, and then this is more of a lighter pink. Some glitter will be used today. Another set of pink. Some puffs will be used. These are my pink brushes, pink sponge things. This is for me to put my paint in. I have some um, markers that I will use to make the lines a little bit more, you know, sharp and precise. These are the paint brushes I already took out to use. Um, I need some paper towels to dry it the um, brushes, put the brushes on top. Um, I am missing one of my paints. It's a gray one. All right guys, I don't know. Oh, sorry, it was behind here. Um, then gray as well. If I need any more, I'll show you guys as I go on. And I also got some hand sanitizer because it will help later on to get off the, the paint and things. So, I'm gonna use this side to place the paint. And use this container to drop in the paint. Give them a good shake. Trying to have um, more of a. I'm trying to have colors that will glow in the dark. But for this project today, I'm just gonna do it and then later on see. I'm gonna try and get some glow in the dark. or a neon paint from Amazon. I would really, the goal is um, once the light goes up in the movie, movie room, theater room, things will be able to glow. Because of her hair. Oops. 
think I got a little pink on me. I'm having multiple shades of pink because I'm going to blend and mix them. Lastly, so I was inspired by an image on Pinterest that I saw. So, because inspired in the sense that the person made the skin brown. I was like, oh, that's really cool. I'm gonna make the, the skin brown too. All right, so let's go ahead. If my marker works and I'm going to outline Everything has a black outline, by the way, um, based on the picture. So let's just get to it. I'm all good. Um, I'm gonna do my clouds. Just go over it first with the pencil. I like the idea of her being in a cloud. Blowing bubble gums. What do you guys think about that? Oops, can't really see. It, it looks like she's emerging from the clouds. Okay. Doop. Her eyebrows could be a little bit better. But I'll work on that with the paint. So I got my paint in here. I'm going to start with black for the hair. So All right, I'm gonna use this brush. Can you guys see? I hope you can see. I want it to be fresh drops. So next is her eyelids, which is a uh, pink. All right, so you have to be really careful when coloring in tiny corners. So if you have to switch brushes, switch brushes as much as you can, as you can see, I'm doing that um, <laughs> over and over so that I don't cross the lines into places the pink is not supposed to be. Alright, so to color in her skin, I am using the shade of brown that I showed you guys earlier. 
um, because it was a little lighter, I went in and add more on top of the previous layer so that the skin can be more melanated and a little bit darker um, as I wanted it to be. All right, guys, I had to switch brushes um, so that the skin can have a little bit of a smoothness and a, some type of texture to um, the skin. So I'm dabbing the brown paint onto the portion that is supposed to be the skin. All right, so for the bubblegum part of the painting, I am using a mixture of the paints, um, the paint that is on her eyelid and a little bit of white bubblegum paint. Um, so you will see the difference there and some white as well to show um, the stretching of the bubblegum. Next, I am painting the sky, um, pinkish, um, again, to blend in with the theme of the whole painting, and then there will be some pink clouds as well. This was one of the hardest parts of um, painting this picture, just making sure that the colors don't blend into each other. So I had to switch brushes several times just to make sure that the lines were not colliding with each other as well, especially with the pink clouds. That's why you see such a white space left out between the clouds and the hair, because that will be filled in with a tiny brush. All right, so her eyes um, had a little bit of gray in it, black, and then I had to paint over the white piece, white parts of it as well that was supposed to show as white because the canvas white is more of a cream white. Um, so I had to definitely paint over the outer, outer corners of her eyes white.
All right, so with the tiny brush, I was able to then color in the space that was white. Um, again, it's a background of pink, so it seems like she is stepping forward or flying um, closer to you in the picture and with the pink background or pink sky. The tiny, um, the tiny brush does really help out with just making everything seem very crisp and precise. All right, you can stop right here. However, um, I had to jazz it up a little bit, give some texture to her hair as well as the cloud, um, just so that it looks a little bit more my style in a way. Okay, so the last part is to just glue on the the puffs uh, that would make it look like she has bubbles in her hair. As we all know, one of the characters on the show is named Bubbles as well. All right. You guys are gonna see. So, once my siblings, we're gonna do many more, many more art. Um, and we put them all over this room. And hopefully once I get my own little house, I will have a gallery wall. You guys can see that I have a lot of art. Um, I have a lot of art. So, I'll have my own little gallery wall and these types of art that I'm doing right now will go into my theater room um, as I'm doing now, jazzing up my theater room here. Thank you guys for watching the process. Try it yourself. It was fun. Um, a little nerve wracking a little bit sometimes here and there because of the lines and you know, just trying to make it perfect, but it does not have to be perfect. Um, do your best. Um, I got this inspiration from Pinterest, as I said, um, and then I jazzed it up so it could be my own and it could be mine. So, you know, always sign your art no matter what. Um, put a little gold in the middle of her split, okay? So, you know, she's golden, she's cute, she is, a, have the colors of, that I really love in it, so yeah make sure you guys hit that subscribe button hit that like button leave a comment below if you would like many more artsy um try it tuesday to be more artsy or what's not like you guys if you want to see my drawings when i sketch things out sorry you can also leave a comment below if you want to see my sketches as well so you guys can see the more I, like I said, I'm a multifaceted person. Um, thank you for watching again. Leave a comment below. Share this with someone. They might enjoy it. It might make them want to paint or draw too. And hit that like button. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.